Hey yo, hey, yo. we bad, yo. we bad, we bad. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Toshi, and we are. Back at it with some more reactions. You just now catching me for the first time. Yes, I'm live right now. Link in the description. Go check me out. And you already know, I appreciate your like, comment, and follow. Now, let's get into it. All right, we're here at the Forgotten series. People ain't talking about it enough. Season one was fucking nuts. I'm excited to see season two. So it's one, two, and three. And it's a ranking of kings. Yes, sir. Boji is back. One of the best protagonist you'll ever come across in anime i just love this story so much and i'm happy to get into season two it's dark as fuck people can't get past the animation style but i i love it i think it's animated amazingly uh they can't get past the art style animation is okay for them but the art style people are like eh i don't fuck with the art style I'm telling you right now this shit is hard ranking of kings highly slept on i didn't even know it was dropped so that's why we're watching three but now that i know let's get into it Shit sounds like a fairy tale. One of the most wholesome series out. Here we go. The breakdown of last season. What do you got? A pimple? An age spot. Wow. Man's went into straight depression mode. Got it. So there's a quest. You gotta go hunt for these mushrooms that are in a mysterious forest. Boji on God mode. He really worried about his age. Hey, yo, the rabbit started sweating. Wait, there's a lady riding that motherfucker. He blinded it. Is he gonna break that fall? Oh, he caught the old lady? Motherfucker strong. You gotta take her home. She just tricked him into doing everything. Man's cleaning the whole crib. This old lady gonna keep using him? She gonna end up being somebody cool though, right? How you out there living by yourself in the first place? You got it. You was out here by yourself. You either gotta be able to do it yourself or you just playing me right now. Can she cook though? Boji on God mode. Hey, yo. He walked in the door breathing like Darth Vader. Wait, that old lady flipped the weapon. We know it's like to chop herbs and shit out of a garden type thing. She literally flipped it with one hand and caught it like it was nothing though. She definitely on some shit. Exactly. She walked the basket out the door. Oh, her ankle was hurt. She ain't slick. What's in that pie? Um. <laughs> old lady's infamous for everything she just did. Nice. He's gonna use that money to buy her a new joint. Nice. See how wholesome this anime is? It's so wholesome. You gotta go get a job. Boji don't got no strength. He can't even lift the pot. That's crazy. There's no way. He gotta find something that's suitable for him, right? He'll be a waiter. He's deaf. He's. <laughs> He dodged him though. He can't hear anything, but he dodged the, the dude try to touch his shoulder. He said, huh? Fuck up off me. Just gotta find a job for you, my boy. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. That's hard. This is a, a dope idea. They're gonna and he, they're using his ability to dodge to make some bread. So he's an amusement attraction. He's literally an amusement game. Hit this kid, you can win some money, but nobody's gonna be able to hit him. No matter how fast you throw them hoes. 10 copper coins. So do 100 copper make one gold? Oh. <laughs> I love it. Oh, wow. All of a sudden, she's able to throw hard as fuck. 
You should help her though. You got mad bread. Buy her a meal. Damn, she tried to buy money for her moms because she's sick. She tried to buy medicine for her mom because she's sick. Spent gambled all the bread away being a little girl. Oh, oh Boji, you see, this is what the kingdom is that was happening in the kingdom. But you could help yourself though. I, I you missed me, but look, I just want to help you. See, exactly. So basically, you became a loan shark. He's the bank. He said, I'm going to put up the money now for her. But later on, after she gets an education, she she could pay me back with the money she's going to make in the future. You gave her a student loan. So now this little girl's in debt to you, which is Despa's a cool guy for sure. So, but she's indebted to you. Beast of the wilderness. They're going to encounter some like for real wildlife. What he gonna do? Take a poop? He said, let me go take a shit first before I sleep. What's that, a shadow puppet? It was coming off the light. They're probably hunting the wild beast. Boji's gonna be friends with the wild beast. The whole home out, out here. That is regular bandits. Oh. Gambo Boji, let's go. Ultra Instinct Boji. Come on, bro. That's right. Hey, just give it up, my boy. You're taking the girl hostage. Boji broke his sword with the needle of a cactus. He gonna run into a real beast outside, huh? Was that him sleepwalking? He is. He's snoring while he's sleepwalking. That's funny. Ultimate is the Boji is that ultimate guy. Y'all hear him? Boji is that guy. Boji's it. Boji's the best character, hands down, out right now. Damn, the wind is that crazy? Slith and the child? Oh, Boji gone. Gone with the wind. Dude got blown away. That was a Kirby suction wind. Can't escape it. Oh, Boji right there. Okay, so he just got blown away a little bit. I don't look like no mirage. Little oasis in the middle of the desert, huh? I don't know about this. Whoa. It looked like spirits. See the Boji this saucy while deaf. Imagine Stevie Wonder, black daredevil type beat. Yo. <laughs> Wait, strange creatures from that one time. What was that one time? Damn, I don't even remember that one time. They like Boji, though. Are you fucking up the vibe? You're nice. I don't know. What's up with that pink mist? So we got nice, like, spirit animals. The crazy nigga from They Walks to the Underworld? Oh, shit. That's who that guy was? What's happening here? It's the boss spirit? Okay, now this motherfucker look crazy. That looks like a vigilant spirit. Or is it just being territorial right now? Like an animal, nothing. Yeah, this, these creatures is different for sure. You can tell. Roji, how you gonna take that down? You gonna find his weak point? He <laughs> says, man said vigilant. <laughs> Eloquent ass nigga. Roji, you don't even know his weak point. Shit look like a bird and a horse put together. Is that mama? Is that why he's trying to get back? Y'all got his baby? That's your mom's. Like, yeah, motherfucker, that's my mom. I see the color change a little bit. Got a little lighter in the dark red. Still dark, but got a little lighter. It's not as angry. All of their mommies? What did they, where did they just stumble upon? Y'all stumbled upon the spirit oasis in the middle of the desert? Storm blew y'all up? No, what the fuck? Oh shit, a creature is creating the storm. What the fuck is happening? This is crazy. So this is how they got teleported there. There's an even bigger creature that transports them. And then no oasis. That was such a crazy, weird encounter. 
one of the creatures got left. All right. I, I mean, that was a straight side story, but them creatures might come back around in handy for another episode down the line because them shits is mysterious. Do they have powers? Obviously, they have powers because they stuck all their weapons in them and they pushed it back out. It just reminded me of some spirit shit. The nigga that's hit. Gotta regroup. And she got some homies. Yeah, don't underestimate your enemies already. Y'all walk in the battle. Boys, you be setting y'all up. You can't die for now. She at least a healer, so even in battle, she could just kick it. All they got to do is retreat for a bit until they can heal and then pull back up. They drinking, drinking? Oh, this is just like water. Yep. I knew she was drinking, drinking. It's the only way you're going to ask somebody they want something like that. What's up? You was up? Uh -huh. See, she cried in her sleep. Oh, they did say he was a big nigga. Look like a big ass kid. Man's using his bare hands, boy. She said, you about to catch these hands. She need to learn how to fight or something. Why she out and about? She tripping. She blinded him. Did you something? Damn. Got him in the crease, in the crevice. Damn, hey, comboed him, boy. Gave him the haymaker. How rocks land on top of him, though? They just gained some allies? What just happened there? Death promise. What's that mean? She per she put a spell on him? Oh, I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. She healed him, but then used that power back on him. Said, look, I just healed your shit, but everything I just healed will reverse if you do some bad shit. She made it up. That's crazy. I thought it was for real. The way the sun hit everything, she had perfect timing on that ass. That's hilarious. Now you, now you see what it feels like to be a good guy. Shit can be nice. <laughs> she need more, she need more uh, allies. She need at least a few more. She need at least 10 motherfuckers to pull up, 10 strong people. She need a squad. This is what I be looking like trying superpowers at the crib. Focusing hard as fuck. The way this shit's animated is hard. Boji been adventurous. He been doing this. What'd he do? He just want to go get some flowers? He just like the world? Oh shit, a storms are brewing. That way he'll ready our asses back. Don't tell me y'all lost. Y'all lost in the woods? Y'all gonna have to go in that cave. God damn! Push this man down the hill. He got to use his healing powers right now. Not even a hill. This man's pushing him off a cliff. Leg fucked up. Oh, mudslides, loose rocks. Once water, once water comes into play. Okay, he got a little strength. Caught himself with one hand. That's strong. Uh oh. Uh oh. Little mudslide action. Yeah, all right. it was just a hard fall. It's working. It's working. He genuinely wants to heal his brother. Let's go. Whoa. Okay, now that's kind of crazy. He output a lot, so he got he got some hidden ability. Cause that was a lot of light. Like I said, ta-da! Man's got the healing gift. And it's pretty strong, it seems like. We're, we're basically getting a recap and a reintroduction to all the characters right now. Nothing story progressive too far. We just know that OG is learning some new life lessons. They're showing like small little level ups. They're showing past things to give us character connection again. Like, ah, it is Boji's brother. They've been, they've been, they've been through it. Boji wants to save his brother as well, just as much as the mother does. Boji's still training to become stronger. Weird spirit creatures. I'm not sure what that has to do with the story, but it might make sense in the future. Still one of my favorites. Very wholesome, dark moments, great character development, great characters themselves, actually. All the characters have these really good personalities. It's just the animation as well. Fire. 
the quality of the animation is fire to me. I'm a series that I just really enjoy watching. It feels good when I watch it. Let's get into the comments. Someone said, man, Hilling started off as my least favorite character. Thought she was just loud and annoying, but now she's my favorite. All the character development in this show is great. I've said it before, character development unmatched. Boji and Dida is so cute when they was little. Been waiting for Hilling to appear. I don't think there's a more human character in anime that is saying Hilling. Always stoked to spend time with these characters. I also love the more casual feel of these mini storylines. Like I said, character development, all these characters are great characters you, that you fuck with. They're saying that Dida was a good a good dude before he met Miranjo, who influenced him highly on some fuck shit. People love it. My heart is so full after this episode. They're all so precious. Man, look, you want something different, wholesome, that feels good, Great anime, great storytelling, great character development. This is the anime for you. It's not super action, shonen, villain versus hero type of vibe. It's more of like a real life human, real life humanity type shit. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's different. Let me know what you thought of this episode and that was Ranking of Kings. All right, and that's my time. I appreciate you for stopping by. Check me out live. If you're just not catching this on YouTube, make sure you go hit the links in the description. Follow your boy, it's Toshi Adventures, across all platforms. Don't miss out on the future content. And I'll see you guys next time. As always, have fun, stay fly, be free. I'm out.